In this video, we're going to go over phase diagrams. Phase diagrams are a graphical representation of the different physical states of substances at various pressure and temperature combinations. So you can essentially look at the graph and at a particular pressure and temperature values, you can look at that point of the graph and it will tell you about the physical state of your substance. And in general, you can see that the graph is divided into different regions. This, these different regions have different phases. So in particular, in this region here on the left, this is where we have solids. In this region, we have liquids. In this region, we have gases. If you look at the pressure and temperature combinations, they make sense. Solids you generally have at lower temperatures and higher pressures. Gases you generally have at high temperatures and low pressures. And liquids is somewhere in between solids and gases. Now, there's some additional information that you should know about the graph. First of all, we have some of these boundary lines. So we have a boundary line over here. This is the solid liquid boundary. Then we also have this boundary over here, which is the solid gas boundary. And then finally over here, we have the liquid gas boundary. These boundaries are important because at different parts of these graphs, we can say, okay, here we only have gases, here we only have liquids, here we only have solids. At the boundaries, the two phases can coexist, which means at every point along this line, you can have a mixture of both solids and gases. The two are at equilibrium with each other. So we can say here, at the boundaries, different phases can coexist in equilibrium. Okay, also important are several key points on this graph. So right in the center, over here, is what is called the triple point. The triple point is very important because as you can see, it's essentially the intersection at where you have solids, liquids, and gases. And whereas the boundary is where different phases can coexist, two phases at most, the triple point is the point where you have the correct pressure and temperature such that all three phases are in equilibrium with each other. So, triple point. This is the pressure and temperature at which all three phases are in equilibrium. And here on the Earth, we're actually pretty close to the triple point of water, which is why on a winter day, it's possible for there to be ice, water, and water vapor. So it's solid liquids and gas all present at the same time. Another point that is important on the phase diagram is this point right here. This point is called the critical point. The critical point is important because it's an upper limit for where we're able to distinguish liquids from gases. In fact, if you actually exceed the pressure and temperature of the critical point, you can no longer distinguish between liquids and gases. And what you actually have in this region is what we call supercritical fluid. Okay, so the critical point, this is the pressure and temperature above which liquids and gases are indistinguishable. And as I mentioned, this is where we instead 
have what we call supercritical fluid. Okay, so these are the main components of the phase diagram that you want to be familiar with for the MCAT. Another topic that's important related to phase diagram is that this phase diagram is the phase diagram of what the majority of compounds in the world look like. So most compounds, their phase diagram looks something like this. But there's a unique compound whose phase diagram looks slightly different, and that's the phase diagram of water. So let me draw in the phase diagram of water, and we can see how it is different. And hopefully what you notice is it's the solid-liquid boundary, right? The solid-gas boundary looks the same, the liquid-gas boundary looks the same, but the main difference is the solid-liquid boundary. For most compounds in the world, the solid-liquid boundary has a positive slope, but for water, it has a negative slope. So that's the key difference. For water, the solid liquid boundary has a negative slope. What's important about this is that for most compounds in the world, if you were to increase the pressure to an extremely high value, you can see because of the positive slope, that would favor solids over liquids. But for water, that's not the case. Since there is a negative slope, as you increase the pressure, it will actually favor the liquid state. And the reason why it favors the liquid state is because the density of ice is less than the density of liquid water. Right? And this we know because if you put ice cubes in water, the ice will float. And essentially that's because water is more dense than ice. So if you increase the pressure, high pressures is going to want to compact substances. And you can't compact ice as, you much, as much as you can water. So that's why high pressures, it favors the liquid state of water. Okay, so this is what you want to know about phase diagrams for MCAT.